Hey. Welcome back to the podcast. I hey. am your host, nope. Mr. Madeover. And this is my lovely, 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 lovely assistant, Vanna. Um <laughs> You can do yourself or are you just gonna sit there and wait? Oh, I thought you was gonna do that for mm-hmm. me. Nah. Dude, you <coughs> are rude. Hi, everyone. I am Mrs. May Opa. And uh, we wanna thank y'all for tuning in. Again. Here we go. Uh, thank you for showing love. Uh, man, y'all have really been beefing it up lately. Um, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. But I, I'm, I must vent a little bit. Why are you? Oh wait, I'm sliding. I must vent just a little bit, just a little bit. For those men out there who have girl daughters, first of all, I'm keeping y'all in prayer. Um, she tripping, tripping. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting here watching some good old worship music. No, you were laying there. Laying, sitting. I was like sitting, sitting up in the bed. Uh, <clears throat> but I don't know. I was sitting there watching some good old worship music. Wholesome. You feel wholesome. me? Wholesome. We was in there, right? We were. All My the wife, way. her head was down. You know, she was she was in full out worship. She was right there. Right there. Right there. I she was, was right, in there. Like right, you know, right there. I'm trying to tell you. So, um right there. This one guy comes on the uh, screen. <laughs> My oldest says He's very handsome. <laughs> I said, what, what'd you say? <laughs> and then she did that little shy giggle stuff that most <laughs> women do. Not so daddy. I looked at my young one. What'd she say? She gonna say, he was handsome. You know, so I'm like, so, you know, trying to make sure my ears are not deceiving me. So then he takes me out of my place that I was in. I'm not gonna lie, cause I want like to all hear this. the way out. Like he took me all the way out. Like I was full <laughs> on. I was there. I'm, I'm like, we need to be in agreement. <laughs> he like, hey, uh, what just hey, what I'm had like, just been said. So but I you said, took me all the way out. I said, listen, uh, uh, listen, listen. Hey, uh, I'm like, for, and this how did, I looked at him. Did you, did you hear what your dad said? For real, like. I didn't even care about that. I'm like, listen. Like you, you inter- he interrupted said. my whole Jesus time. <laughs> The, the whole It was one of those uh, She don't have to get back to you Jesus but <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me Lord I, gotta, I need her right now But she gotta hear this oh But man gosh. When I tell you I, And she said I said Did you hear this? You know? And I said And then he popped her back On the TV And I said Is that the one you said That's handsome? <laughs> hey I, I gotta say She got taste I mean you know Hey Well at the, the moral of the story Is to keep your brother in prayer uh, <laughs> Cause our seven year old now understands who's handsome. <laughs> See, I think what it is, right? She been buttering your biscuit long enough. Daddy, you're so handsome. Daddy, you smell good. And now she's like understanding. Cause I'm like, babe, you smell good. Babe, you look real good. You know. <sighs> yeah. So we're modeling it. But she's seven and yeah, that ain't gonna happen. It, it, I mean, it's just, you know. Shit, nah, she I just gotta she get a few more guns. She can't load up, you know. Never. But, I mean, the the person she was looking at, you know, he, he was, was a worshiper. He was he a full out worshiper. Full you know? worship. And I I must say, you know, he he did have a a, a great spirit about him, you know. I you know, but, but still, she seven. You know, what I'm saying keep that she handsome stuff to yourself, or herself. What you better be doing is handsome and those and your tests, tests and those and grades. logging into Zoom. That's what I'm talking about. That's our rant. Um, okay, we need some advice. Help us, Jesus. So today's topic, we are jumping right in. Unless you want to say something. What's today's topic? Because I don't know what you it. What's going on? You did a commercial again. Get, I did us, another commercial. You are racking up on these commercials. These <gasps> oh yes, 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 yes. I did. I did a special commercial too. Y'all, I meet these friends. I'll be telling y'all. I mean, <laughs> hey, I meet friends. I did a commercial with a friend that I met on Instagram. Can I say his name? Yeah. Columbus, Georgia eats. We'll be collabing with them. In, uh, in the- He's a foodie here locally mm-hmm. in our town. And then he also has done some stuff like when he's gone on, like, I guess, vacations. 
Yeah. And he's posted some places where he went in those areas as well. But he is local to our area and um, he shares food. So I met him for the first time. He's been coming to the truck now for about two, two months, two, yeah. three months, two, yeah. three months, I think. Yeah. And I introduced him to the food truck, but I had never actually met him. We just uh, talked back and forth on IG. And so I got a chance to meet him and his wife. And she is so pleasant. I love her. What's what's up? I do. I love her. I was gonna lie and I couldn't do nothing. He he couldn't talk. But um, so yeah, I am. <laughs> so I met them and I he had me do um a little snippet from his channel, y'all. From his sunshine was in the build. I gotta get it. I gotta make me a shirt. You can. I, keep I gotta make a shirt man. because you not <laughs> They come up there saying sunshine. I'm like sunshine. Oh, that's me. Hey y'all. <laughs> Hey y'all, that's that's me. I let my good old Southern Southern Bell, Bell come out. <laughs> then try to come home, correct us on grammar. Yes, babe, that's but how you say that. At the end of the day, at the day, that was one. <laughs> how many times you gonna correct, say it tonight? Though. It was correct, it was boo. Correct. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. we will be venturing off actually into that industry. So. Uh, Look forward. What? What? Going on here? Look not, forward okay. to seeing about. these two faces, uh, stuff in their face. Yes, um, and then giving our opinion. <laughs> Y'all, we love to eat. We love like I. Uh, I look just sorry. You know, I saw that picture of my grandma today, and I look just like her. Sorry, that's what's up. I did. My bad. Emotional. I'm not. All right. But yeah, we love to eat, y'all. But we, today's topic is not about eating. It's not. It's about it's, why are you tripping. Why are you tripping? My tripping? wife still don't understand I what I mean tripping, when I tripping. when I ask why are you I tripping. You tri- so I, tri- tri- I'm gonna do a quote. Um, you tripping, tripping. I like about her. this. Why are you tripping? Because I did a song like that. Because um, <laughs> it don't sound right. I did a song like that. You did a song like that. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's a gospel song. It's not back then. You think, oh, I was about to say, man. <laughs> like, you, whoa. You, you thinking R and B? But Okay I'm sorry The quote is this The conclusion you ended with Is the conclusion that you started with So Why are you tripping The conclusion that I ended with Is is the the conclusion conclusion that that I started started with What See I like this This is where you become smarter than the teacher Then smarter than my wife So that's a double So do you get it? Uh-uh. Can you try to get it? As you tell your students, come on now, think. Come on, think. Think outside think, the box. Think outside. <laughs> <laughs> y'all been not talking about me when y'all watch this either. Um, the conclusion that you ended with is the is conclusion, the conclusion that you is started. The conclusion with. that you, the conclusion, which is the end. And she going straight ELA. <laughs> 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 she, she is back in class. Conclusion means that it ended. Yeah, I got a problem processing. So the conclusion that I I ended with is the conclusion, is the conclusion that I started with. So why I'm, it's the same? It's the same thing. Is it? I I ended with it. It's the same one that I started with. Give us a breakdown. Give give me an example. Give me. She do this. I I love this because she do this in the class in her class. So I get a chance to do this. Now I'm the teacher. I am the teacher now. So give me an example. Give me an example. And that's not what I said. <laughs> you I, put your hand up. You. No. you. <laughs> give, give me an example. Give me an example. Don't just tell me. Or give me short answers. Come on, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Well, Grandma, turn off. <laughs> That's not even what I do. <laughs> Our students gonna be thumbs up all day. They are. I have a lot of <laughs> views and likes. Okay, so the conclusion that I started with is no. The conclusion that I ended with is the one that I started with. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Conclusion means the end, right? Yes. The and ending. She is so. God. I want y'all to mark this date. 
Like, this is awesome. This is twice though. I'm on a roll. No. I am on a roll. Like when I when I start off talking about it, she's gonna say, All right, so oh. shh, be quiet now. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Gotta stop now. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. A conclusion is the last part of something. It its end or its result. So the conclusion that you end with is the it's the result of something you started out with in the beginning. So whatever you started out with is the end. So when you end with it, it's what you began with anyway. So why are you tripping? So do right? you get it? Don't just say them. Get, get examples. Examples. That is not how I have my kids to do examples. Okay. I actually give them examples. So, sir, since you're my teacher today, can you please? Easy. I'm glad you asked. I'm pretty good at this. All right. Now, let's say, since everybody can relate to this, I'm about to work out. Um. But. I'm not going to do too much. <laughs> <laughs> so can you imagine that end? Your end result is what you started with, which was exactly, nothing. Exactly, which was or nothing. Or minimal. Your result, your result is a minimal result. I believe because how you, you start did. anything is how anything will end. And then they always say how you do anything is how you do everything. Dude, I don't know where he gets these this stuff from, but at the end of the day, like because of brother, Reed. then we be doing these podcasts this listen, late at night. Listen, that th- this is what I'm going to break down to you, and it might be a short one because Bring it on down. you know, because at the end of the day, it's like this: when a person say they want to start off with a goal, right? How you st- how how you think about that goal? I'm never going to accomplish this goal. So that's how it's going to end. That's why a lot of our yeah, that's why we have a lot of unfulfilled projects. We have a lot of we have a lot of uh incompletes on our record. If you pay attention to the, a lot of stuff that we said, we wanted to start. We was gonna finish. We was gonna do this. Do you want to be this when we got older? Like these and different we things. Do it. And we, we never start. complete the we don't task. T- yeah. That's why I said we don't finish the task. Okay, I'm with you. Okay. I got you. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Break it on down. <laughs> That's what I have to do. Uh, no. You do because you're the teacher and you got to break it down to the student. And that's what I just did. So, listen, I'm like this. I'll, before I start anything, I always think of the future in mind. Okay. Which is always a great end goal for me. I don't know what it is for you or, or anybody else. But for me, I always start off with the big picture. A lot mm-hmm. of times I feel like when God created us. He already had our end made up for us. Okay. But it's up to us to get to the end. A lot of times we be like right there. Not when I say end, I'm not talking about death. I'm talking about like <laughs> <laughs> don't don't go there. <laughs> don't. When I'm talking about end, like your end of like achieving everything. Retiring at the age of 35, retiring at the age of 40, retiring at the age of I'm basically at early age and planting your legacy in the in the ground already. Like I always say to myself, before I die, mm-hmm. I don't want to say nothing to the grave. You want to die empty. So for you. I'm not a whole person, whole picture type of person. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let me sit back on this one. See, he wanted to, you know, he got the picture, right? And then he worked towards putting it together. So what's your problem? And why are you tripping? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the way we go about it. So, like, my, my end was, okay. So I have to have all the individual pieces. So, like, how you use the example for working out. I needed to know how many days you was going to have me working out. Wow. I needed to know what type of workout we was going to do. I needed to make sure, you know, was it going to be outside or was it going to be in the house? So, I needed, like, it's like, oh, man, I wish we had. You need a step by step. Yeah, and I know we have one. I just don't have it with me. But, like, a puzzle. So, oh, yeah, we ain't got no puzzle pieces. But it's like, he can get the box. 
And then probably, you know, he's studying the whole box. Okay, these are the pieces that I need. Me, I glance at the box and I'm like, nope, let me find all the end pieces first. With every single puzzle that I put together. So you build the outside. I Yeah, I build the outside and then I work in. Because you, you have to look at it like no matter where we end, like you said, we start from somewhere, but our starting point is also going to be different. Because if your view is whole picture and then pieces and mine is pieces to get to the whole picture, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's always a negative thing. Doesn't always mean that. <laughs> Here we go. Y'all see this? Is... <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Those who are riding the car, thank you for listening. I zip my lips is what I did, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> um, but looking at it, I look at it from that point. So it's still the same concept because no matter what we, like you said, whatever we end with is where we start. So if you're looking at the whole picture like, ooh, I got this whole picture in front of me. I can put this together, right? I can put this puzzle together. So everybody imagine, you know, you go to the store and you're looking for a puzzle. And that's usually how puzzles go. You look for a cute design or something that you feel that you could do something with. And you look at the bigger picture. It automatically says, okay, this is my end goal. This is what I'm going for. Me, I look at the picture and I'm like, okay, I need something that I look at the pieces. How many pieces is it? Because <laughs> if it's too many, I'm not trying to rock with that. She would stop that. Yeah, I mean, but I'm saying just depending on what I'm trying to do for that moment. So based on you starting with the whole and you automatically seeing that you're going to get there. For me, I may say in the beginning, like, ooh, I don't know if I can put this together because that's 7,000 pieces. Uh. And so in the end, it might take, I may not finish it. It but may go back to what you just said. That is, uh, it's not always a negative. Go back to what you just said. Well, part. You said you look at the pieces and if it's too much. Oh, if it's too much, I ain't trying to deal with it. Thank God. I don't want to do a 7,000 piece puzzle. And the conclusion. You end with is the conclusion that you started with. But, and I don't buy that puzzle that's 7,000. <laughs> because I want people to understand because, like, how you do puzzles and how you do anything really is how you like do. Puzzle. And yeah. how, how you do anything is how you do everything. Okay. That includes puzzles. That includes, like, I'm talking about anything. Right. Your mind is like how you think. Is the way how you do anything. But then too though. Okay. So that's what puzzles. But then when it came to working out. Like that was a process for me. But I needed the individual pieces in the beginning. And in the beginning. I thought that I could not do it. But in the end. Okay. I thought that I could not jump rope. Is what the thing was. Because I hadn't jumped in eons. Um, and then. I started out, but with consistency. So my thought process in the beginning ended up changing in the end because I now have the endurance. I now have the persistence and the confidence to skip rope. Whereas in the beginning, I was not confident in skipping rope and I felt awkward. So that's two ways that I'm still going my piece by piece, but it's just different outcomes. Because one thing I can think that I can, I can look at it as a challenge but then in the end, I still can't overcome it. And then there's some things I look at as a challenge and then I don't. So I I think what it all boils down to, it just depends on what it is. I think everything has a beginning, has an end. And the fear of it, just like you said, is something that you've never done. No, I didn't say I hadn't done it. You haven't done it in a while. So yes. you had doubts about right. getting back into it, even though even though you have done it before. Right. But I think this is what holds us back in life. I it, think it, it 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 slows it slows the process down. Now just just imagine if 
Two or three years ago when I told you, babe, if you wanna if you wanna cut. If you wanna cut, let me tell you what to do. Jump rope is the way for you to cut. Now just think, two years ago if you'd have just took me on that offer. If I would have jumped, I would be slim thick. Oh my my kid my students told me not to use that again. That's what's up. <laughs> That's but like, just I, think. No, trim thick is what I can use. The 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 <laughs> hesitation in that. Like we had a a saying back in well, when I was coming up. When I was in the streets doing crazy stuff, they always say he who hesitates is lost. Which means if you hesitate on it, you lose out on a lot of opportunities oh, okay. and other stuff. You know, I'm, I love this Trump right here today. Sometimes I, I feel like I'm showing sure that I'm pretty smart. But <laughs> <laughs> you mean the early bird catches the worm? No, uh, it's about the same thing, isn't it? No, nah. early bird catches the worm is get up early. If you hesitate, which means you pause. Yeah, you lost. And if you don't get up, you lost. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it, so, it's, it, it's this. Like hey, okay, y'all, listen. he said this is that's what happened to that up north stuff. Yeah. City boy, but here's where it come into play. A lot of hesitations, and why you're. Like your blessings Mm -hmm. and things like that is delayed because what if the puzzle don't have all pieces? Man, I've had puzzles like that too. This is what I'm saying. And the thing thing for me is (laughs) if if I'm visualizing the end, for me, I I feel like God would always give me the pieces that I need. Mm, so okay. I don't start off looking for the pieces. I know the the pieces would develop. Like if you look at this whole studio and different everything that has been built, I never seen this, but I knew this is how it was going to happen. And it was a a step by step, day by day type of thing. Right. But if I would have waited, no, nah, I can't do nothing until I got some lights, or I can't do nothing. E- even my laptop crashed. Both laptops crash. <laughs> And I said, you know something? Maybe it's just not it's meant to not be. It's not meant to be. But for some reason, I still yet push through. And I developed right. a whole studio <laughs> Ouch. within my house. But if I was waiting for the puzzle pieces, because for me, the end pieces was built. Once I had the laptop, had a little white table here. We was chilling. Then we, we, we were set and we was ready. Like for me, the, the, end, the end one everywhere. was... Uh, taping up green, uh, <laughs> green post, lime, lime green, lime green, poster you know, boards, poster with boards duct tape, with duct tape, green duct tape at that. You did, <laughs> you understand, like that. That was my outside to me, that was outside pu- puzzle pieces. But for me, I'm <laughs> like, man, it has to work. Y'all, the whole wall. When I tell lime you, I, and I felt green. like it has to work. And I have to figure it out because I wanted that bad. And I think that's where we get tripped up. Our, our our beginning wrecks our end. And that's why a lot of us never make it to the end. You ever seen that uh that picture where the dude is digging for dirt and then the one dude stopped and then I think like one centimeter away or one inch away, if the dude would have dug again, it was like a bunch of diamonds on the other side. Okay, you, my wife really don't do the motivational stuff. But that's where I come in. No, he lost me. A lot of us are right there. Okay, we can say, I, now I, the movie that popped in my mind was Groundhog Day. No, nah, it ain't popped in my mind. Break it down. Because he was expecting to go to the next day, but he kept repeating the same cycle. Over and over, like mm-hmm. his, ex- like he went to bed expecting to see the next day, but because of his actions, he was re- had to relive that moment repeatedly. It was something like that, but I think he finally woke up. Right? I don't remember. <laughs> why, 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 why'd you bring it up then? No, because that part- <laughs> <laughs> you gonna bring it up. Give me a good no. conclusion. <laughs> haven't watched it in so long but that's what came like that's what came in my mind because like we ex- we expect something right so i'm ex- okay i'm expecting to 
I don't know what. What am I supposed? I'm supposed to. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I don't, to know, the wrong I don't know. Person. This is what happens when it's a late podcast. We just don't Jeez. know. I don't know what to say. Um. All right. I'm. Ex- I'm expecting to lose some more weight. Okay. Okay. That is. That's my beginning goal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't you say nothing. So I know what it takes. Okay, well, let's go here. I stopped because I'm like, ooh, it got cold. No, actually, I stopped before then. I, my birthday threw me off is what. And then I spiraled down from there. Not that I have not been. Um, I won't say I've been like eating crazy. It's just mm. we I, we have we together have not worked out. Um, oh, you've been working out? Yeah, I've worked out. <laughs> See, people be trying to throw you under the bus with them. No, I know okay, me. I have worked out. Don't go French now. Me. You I have. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Nah. Uh, <laughs> you seen me work out. That's a crazy thing. Right? that was not, was that a workout? Like you like pulling, okay, pull up bar stuff? I want to see you do some pull ups. I'm not fitting. You told me not to. You said you used the step ladder I'm now. I'm going to tell you that. All right. Well, weird. anywho, I haven't worked out. <laughs> I've worked out once in like the last week and a half. I'll be honest. Oh, I right. too funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we haven't been working. <laughs> what? Whoa, we haven't? <laughs> We can't I'm do. sure. I'm sure. On break time when I'm not <laughs> virtual calling with these kids, I've got to get a little jump rope in. So you jump into? Hey, like you tripping? Like <laughs> I'm not tripping. I got an inconclusion in my. <laughs> she's talking about. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna finish this way. This race strong. Oh I'll tell you that God. now. Like, okay, stop. <laughs> go ahead. <Okay. laughs> All right, so clearly I'm tripping because I'm the only one that I guess haven't been working out. But anywho, um, gee, really bad. Okay, sorry. Um, in conclusion, in conclusion, I have no idea. Like, all the junk I've been eating, I'm supposed to be like, yeah, you have. You've well, been and you've been eating what? Yeah, like, you've been eating a lot because be like, you know, you've been eating regular meals and junk food. And I have on this uh, podcast, <laughs> you know, but I'm not. <laughs> But <laughs> at, the of, at the end of it all, like, listen, I got an end goal. Okay, so I don't want to use that example. No more. Well, you can. You know? Okay, no, but seriously, so I stop, and in my mind, I'm like, okay, I have to get back going. But the process for me, I know what my like, and I think this is probably one of the things outside of like family structure and like home like what you see no, no, um my bad um family structure working out or losing weight has been one of my things where i have a full i got my eye on the prize i know what it is that i want my end goal to be mm-hmm. so now it's like i gotta work backwards so i knew i wasn't working out so i had to make sure like that i was eating correctly and then when i went i felt complete, like okay i can be eating this stuff so I think depending on where our mindset, like you, it goes yeah. back to what you say, depending on where our mindset is, that is how we can make the end and the beginning both be something that's positive in our life instead of having the negative outlook first. Because I could say, all right, I'm good. I done trimmed up a little bit. I don't have, I don't have a big old muffin top. I just got a tiny muffin top after I done ate at the end of the night. Wow. Women, y'all know what that is, but, uh, I don't, and or I got a little bitty fupa, um, and that's my you know women know what that you know what that is. Hey, I mean it is what it is. Okay, so <laughs> but I could say things like that, I but know, instead I of me, some men with some fupas. You, <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's true. I think fupa does not discriminate. This is, okay, so. <laughs> Right, so <laughs> muffin tops and fupas across the board, right? You know, can get them, you know. But because I know that I have this end goal, I I'm doing things such as still watching what I'm eating. I'm, you know, even though I'm not working out, I'm still doing the things that I know that I should be doing so that I can try to at least maintain where I am instead of eating 
or overeating and overindulging in things to get myself back to where I was. Yeah. So even though like I felt bad about not working out and I still am like, okay, I got to figure out a time to now squeeze it back in um, because the dynamics of my evenings have kind of changed. I go from teaching full time and then coming here with the girls and doing whatever work they haven't done. Early morning. Huh? Huh? Early morning. Early morning. What you <clears throat> we should work out. Oh, oh, you're telling me to work out. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to do something because um, that's that's my process. So it's I have a goal in mind. I'm going there, but I have not in this particular thing told myself that I can't do it. Mm-hmm. Like I've never made that excuse for myself. Yeah. And so if we don't make excuses, which dad, you said dad, I like that too. Dad said it's a polished lie. So um, if I don't polish the lie saying, oh, I'm good where I'm at. Say the whole mm-mm. thing. Excuses. Excuses. A is a polished, is a polished, polished up lie, polished up lie. That's fire right there. So, um, we sh- I need to make that into it. Yeah, I'm gonna play with that. Um, but I think once we, well, I believe that once we start looking at things with more optimism, then that's when we can actually move forward. Yeah. Because if not, we're going to continue to run the same rat race. So if I'm always thinking like, mm, I ain't going to never make, you know. Okay, we'll say this. We were in that one bedroom apartment for how long? Four years? Yeah. I think so. Four years, right? I lost count. I don't know. I don't even know how long <laughs> I was in there. But we were in a one bedroom apartment. We were in a one bedroom apartment. And I think the first couple of years it was empty. All I had was... <laughs> I think some thrifted chairs. I think we outgrew that in a year. We yeah, we had outgrown it in a year, but we didn't have like real. I must. We didn't have adult furniture. We had a bed and a dresser, and then we inherited a couch, a live well, a little small living room set. Mona. But then we ended up. We had a we had a small TV. Like we had small things. So if in that moment, if we looked at. That as our bigger picture, then we wouldn't be where we are right now. And even even being there, I always seen a a, a greater picture. For right. Me. I mean, even being here, I yeah. still yet see a greater picture. For me, even though you know I'm not a person who's so materialistic, right? Gotta have this, mm, I mean, like but that. I just know the favor that is on my life, and I know where. God is going to take me. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say where he's trying to. I'm talking about where he's right. going to take me. And it's just one of those things that and I think I said it on a few podcasts. For me, seeing is not believing. Right. Like, I don't have to see in order to yeah. feel like I got to reach this goal or different other stuff like that. That's why when I came across this uh, this quote. I don't know who said it, but shout out to you, whoever said it. Um, <laughs> but whoever it, you are, it made such sense to me. I said, "Wow! If I start with negativity, I end with You're negativity." You're gonna end with it because you don't. You have nothing to inter- You have nothing to cut it. Yeah, and plus you have nothing to set you right. off like a rocket. Like, yeah, if you start off with negativity. The whole journey will be negative. Right. That's why when and I and we've I, been there. I mean, but we. <clears throat> I mean, and we're like we've all been there. But that's this is one of the things where when are you going to learn to do different? Like when are you going to check who you are? My, I mean, well, you, know, you get what I mean. I, I think people love being miserable. Mm. <laughs> mm. Misery love company. They do. So uh, I think it's just one of those things that change the way you think. Right. And. If you're having a hard time changing how you think, get away from those who mm-hmm. who who support your type of thinking. Right. Like for me, I'm around people that say, don't think like that. Don't don't do that. Like I'm around entrepreneurs who say, man, listen, you can do this, you mm-hmm. can do this, you can do this, you don't need that. Right. And I think that's the that's that's the that's the difference when I think it comes to us because we don't when it comes down to some things, um, and I, I do it more so than you, um, and I've learned to get out of the pessimistic 
pessimistic way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And so, and it started, I think it started pretty much with you just, no, I don't say that or don't, don't do that. But I know then it started coming from our leadership of, nope, don't say that. Nope, don't, you know, who, whatever you speak or whatever you declare, that's what you are. So, um, one of the things that I've learned is to really be mindful of what I say now watch your mouth watch your mouth watch your mouth um be careful about what i see we're not doing a podcast on that watch Watch your your mouth mouth. yeah go ahead um be careful what i say be careful how i think um and put your phone down put this in my top um come on but that's that's one of the things that um I struggle, but that comes from one of the previous podcasts that we did was um with who am I and just right. the things that I went through um and the anxiety and so all of that, the low self esteem. So we deal with those things, but at some point we have to break that particular cycle. And if we don't break that cycle, then we still end up with the negative outcome because we started out negative. Yeah. Um and one thing that like like he said, the people that we surround ourselves by, I'm learning or people are being placed in my footsteps or, or in my path that um, are the crafting side. I've always said, I can't do that. I'm not artsy crafty. And, and um, things are being placed in front of me for me to do that very thing. And then um, on top of that, I always push you to. Yeah. Get better friends. Yeah, I mean, not, not that I got a problem with who she who she friends with. Hey, y'all, y'all heard what he said. But <laughs> no. listen, yeah. But what? And I, I when he says to get better friends, uh, <laughs> let sounds, me clear. Sounds so hard. So, <laughs> you need to get new friends now. Friend. Not that my friends that I have or the people or or the circle that I'm around. Not that they're not bad. They're not bad, but I'm. <sighs> I'm unconventional in a lot of stuff. Uh, I know we talked about him being unconventional in gender roles, but I'm in, unconventional in a lot of different things. And mm-hmm. um, I like to do things to be able to give to others. So a lot of things that I do, I don't have to make a profit out of off of them. Um, and I know that was one thing you had told me years ago, do things that I like to do and don't pursue um getting profit for them if it's going to overwhelm me or, or, or burden me more yeah. uh, or take away from our family. So um, I had to really like pick apart that because in my mind, I'm like, if I do this, then I got to get some money for it. I had to change my way of thinking because I'm a natural. I like to gift, but I don't like to gift like I like unique gifts. I like gifts with meaning. And so the the mindset that i have now is instead of me saying oh i can't do arts and crafts so oh i'm not good at that i'm being put in situations to where people are introducing me to these things and they are all into (laughs) art heavily into arts and crafts and um so it's it's helping me if you never pursued that Mm -hmm. if you if you never if you're if you're Beginning conclusion was mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna sit here just, and watch I'm Golden just, Girls, but oh, why you if you Golden if Girls? you <laughs> no that's my show. if you were if you did that yeah. like I think when we don't do stuff we don't give our our life chance to evolve right and see to see if different we can. things about right stuff. like for me I'm all full yeah like, you do he does I'm everything like, he listen. tried let me try it let me do it I'm like that when it comes to food let me try it I will taste it give me. <laughs> Okay, I'm I sorry. To I, and I ate already. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. But no, seriously, that is the one thing that I have learned from you is how to take whatever, take the look at the bigger picture first before I say that I can't do it. Mm-hmm. And that, so, and because he knows like that I'm a little can. like I'm a puzzle piece person, and I gotta get the little bitty pieces. But in a lot of instances, he showed me how to take those little pieces and try to. Um, envision what that bigger thing will look like. So, um, I look at Bay. We can't add nothing else in this studio, and lo and behold, I got um, another thing to help me with my 
arts and crafts and he has found a spot for it. And I'm looking over there, but he's found a spot for it. And so things I think that, you know, yeah, we'll say, oh man, we running out of room in here. But then it's like, you know what? Nope, we clear this out and then we clear that out. And, <laughs> and a lot of stuff got threw away. Yeah. So we're we're <laughs> tossing out, but I had to really we're not throw in the trash. We're donating. Yeah, we donate everything. Like yeah, we throw stuff away. Yeah, we're we donating. Are, yeah, we stuff. donate. Now we throw it away if it's not worth giving to someone. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, we are donating. We and and a lot of that stuff, um, with the way and we're just giving people. We don't even um do like how people collect that little stuff for the right house? We don't even do that. Mm, mm, I ain't time, time mm, to do mm, all that. Mm. We don't do that. Right. But if we kept our mind where it was, focused on those things that we feel we can't do, right. we can't achieve, mm-hmm. we can't co- accomplish, we won't make it. This won't happen. That won't happen. Da 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 da. The list goes on and on. I, I'm always be like this, and I can't change. Man, hush that up. <laughs> Can I say that? Wow. Can I say You're that? Aggressive though. Because I mean, Are you I am. I am. I'm in my mid thirties. I'm me in too, my mid thirty. <laughs> <laughs> we had this conversation. Hey, <laughs> too funny. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> I can't wear him tonight. But I'm in my mid 30s and I've already wasted so much time because my way of thinking never got me anywhere. It never got us nowhere. Nowhere. No, nowhere. But I so think if it you, never got you us gotta understand too, though, because I was hard on myself too. Because I had a, I had a moment this week and. And it, it was a it was a frustrating moment. And I, I think I'm gonna do a chew on that pretty soon. Probably drop it sometime this week. But when I talk about my my uncles and my cousins and how hey, hey, everything's not for everybody. And how um <laughs> when we're growing up, I always wonder like think of how like hindsight. I'm like, why didn't my uncle show me, you know, why didn't my uncles or, or, or my dad show me, you know, how not to do this or don't mm-hmm. do this? Like, like, why am I just learning about finances now? Right. Like seven, seven years ago, I really seven to eight years ago, I really began to learn about how finances work, how credit work, how like and, and what, what man, you, you didn't even because I'm looking at you like. He didn't even believe him. I said, we're going to open up a bank account. I ain't put my money in no bank. I don't trust no bank. Man, I carry my money on me. Hold on, hold on. Don't your mama do the same thing? Hey, mama. Hey, mama. He's talking about you. <laughs> no, actually, my it, mother it does would. have a bank. She yeah, has I mean, always have a you bank. You don't throw people under the bus. Throw everybody up under the but bus. But she just don't use her debit card, no. <laughs> and she just go get her money out the bank to pay her bills. But this is my thinking. I said, why it's it, they? Why? Why? Why wasn't I never taught this? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because coming up in the streets and different other stuff like that. Like you know, what I mean, don't nobody say had a hey, bankroll in his pocket. Hey, hey, since you uh <laughs> flipped that out, so did what you did. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and uh go ahead and take that that stack of cash you got and try to get some credit on it. No, like no, nobody's <laughs> trying to break that down to you. Like so, about eight years ago, I began to study and realize. No, that, I helped you. Oh man. Okay, my wife. Started me off on my way, and uh, I took it from there. <laughs> now I he know a you. lot more than her when it comes yeah, to this he does. He knows credit way, and cash yeah. and different other stuff. Yeah, but I, I was always wondering, like, why they never thought. But I can't be mad at them because they didn't right. know. Yeah, I mean, and if they like, it, I mean, it's like with it. My they mom taught us what. They knew, they knew, right? So my mom talk about you. I so don't know my, who else in your family, you so know. My uncle, uh, I'm I'm sorry, uncles, mm. cousins. Didn't you say this ain't no confession? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I was going in on y'all too. Yeah. But go ahead. <laughs> but like, 
mama talk about you so my mama is older and she will say i ain't gotta change for nobody because i'm setting my ways y'all she gonna get <laughs> oh man i should have waited on it okay um see, this next year. i just won't send her this one i'll wait till she give me my money well, <laughs> Tell her hit the like but, button too. but um my mom will and, and y'all like when i literally say my mama is setting her way and i'll just give you like Jeez. her her Okay, I ain't gonna talk too bad about it. Well, let's go back to the cleaning because we already talked about that before. So my mom, in her mind, in my mind, <laughs> we're going. <laughs> she. <laughs> Sorry, this is a goofy project. She cleans up every. Now it's every Friday. It used to be every Thursday because she was off on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. She cleans up every single room in the house even if nobody's been in it <laughs> she mops all the floors she does everything she vacuums every room even if nobody's been in it <laughs> but her mindset is my house is nasty and it gotta be clean and if nobody don't do it I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like Nicole my youngest daughter told me <laughs> I think your mom is so bored. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, he just said you bored. Y'all, but in her mind. In my mind, my bad. Stop doing I keep it. hearing it every time. <laughs> it's the, tis the season. <laughs> to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Uh, yeah. um, but she always, I'm trying not to say it again. So <laughs> kind of stuff. Um, but she feels like. Her whole house is a mess, and this is every week. So we caught, we did a, oh, we did a bet, right? And he was like, "What what day was that? Was it her birthday? No, it wasn't her birthday. What what was that? What you want? Oh, your drink. Um, here. Sorry, I was gonna drink the rest of that. What what was that? Oh, her anniversary. (laughs) It was her anniversary. So, honey, here. He just knew for a fact that it was the weekend. Well, it's anniversary. My mama was going to be anniversary. That ain't no word, but you know, that's in his mind. I'm like, hey, I bet you she cleaned it. He was like, no, it's her anniversary. Watch this. So I called her. She ain't answer. He said, see, she come back. Mom, what you doing? I'm doing the same thing that I do every Friday. Cleaning up. So... The moral of that is your end conclusion is how your beginning conclusion is. <laughs> Cause she tripping, tripping. <laughs> Listen, at the end of it all. Right. My wife told me to say at the end of the day. She's like, that's the third time. That's the third but time. You at the end that. of the day. At the end of the day. At the end of the night. End of the Listen, night. Listen, start everything with a positive mind. Yes. Mind state. Yeah. It's important. Mm-hmm. Cause. How you start anything, I always feel like that's how you finish it, too. Yeah. And how you do anything is how you do everything. So start any process with just a great end in mind. Finishing at the top of the class, like, it, it for your students. You know what I'm saying? Like, finish this year out. Even though COVID is here, I want you to still finish out strong Mm -mm, let's back up let's just give them to finish out this nine weeks and then we'll work towards the year they need baby steps well you know i'm a big thing i can't say that i know you know know, some of them need some of y'all focus on finishing out the year others focus on just focus on finish something positive but get in your mind right i will i will finish start with a positive bless you start with a positive thought and take it from there the negative, even, the negative yeah. stuff will come, but don't, right. don't, don't, don't sit. You there have to just it. fight through the negative. Because yeah. if I, if I would have stuck with, I, I gotta jump. I don't know how to jump. I can't jump. My knee swole. What is it? You know, it's too cold. Now. It's too cold yeah. outside. I got on excuses late. are nothing but a polished me. up Liz eye. Okay, so even in those moments where you feel like you can't. That's where you got to push yourself because there are moments where I did not want to work out. There were moments where I just was like, 
mentally exhausted and my body was like go lay down but i had to push myself yeah. so even if it may not be a thing of like i can't do it or i don't want to do i mean or i can't do it because this it may just be you physically and mentally are just drained and you can't and so even in those moments push beyond that yeah, so cool. take that day to rest and that's what and that's one of the things that I've learned from my husband. Sometimes my body tells me to rest and I have to take that time to rest. And once I rest, though, now I got to jump right back into it, because now I, if I don't, then I'll go into dog. I done took a day off and I don't I don't miss the whole can't do that. <laughs> so you got to continue to just chug along like the little engine that could chug, 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 I did really just do that, didn't yeah. I? Man. So. Um, <laughs> but that's that's what like I want to say is outside of being optimistic, just also to pace yourself. Yeah, you know, pace yourself. And last week I had to pace myself. Oh yeah, you had a rough week. <clears throat> rough week last week. You know, yeah. I suffered with vertigo mm -hmm. and was dizzy. Dang there, Every Monday day. to half of the day to ha Thursday maybe. Yeah, it was a Monday to Thursday, and um. But the crazy part is, you can't tell because there was videos still being put mm -hmm. out. Even though I was dizzy when I got up and did other stuff, I sat right in the chair and edit the yeah, he whole did. time. I would come in and... Um, I couldn't even do my house chores like I wanted to. Y'all, I would come in and I'm like, dang, he ain't wash some dishes. I know. But how you feel? I would come, I would walk past the multi-purpose room because I have my whole little routine. So I walk past what we call the multi-purpose room, aka, which is our studio that we're in right now. Um, and he would be in one chair, one computer chair, recline back with a blanket, feet up in the other chair, barely moving two uh, dinner tray tables, one on each side of him. I'm setting this picture for y'all. Keyboard and mouse on one, phone, remote control, whatever else he needed on the other. So I knew that if I had that negative mindset, he done been laying here all week and I'm tired. No, I just jumped right on in. I came in here, sat with him, pulled up a chair. A couple of times the girls and I we ran him out because we we took over, but um, he could have easily just like gave up that la last week. It but, was tough too. Yeah, so I yeah. just automatically um, normally I would be like, okay, I can't do this because I'm tired, and we both would be, he would be just down and I'd just be over all of it. But um, I had and have learned to come in and pick up. As mom, as wife, or as wife first, as mom, and then move forward with whatever needs to be done. So sometimes we have to, uh, especially if uh, we're married and uh, with our spouses, we have to make sure that we um, pick up where pick up the pieces where they can, because sometimes he's not always uh, optimistic and not always ready to be like, okay, I got this. Sometimes I have to take those reins and then sometimes it's vice versa. It's just this vertigo. It's, I know. It's kicking your butt for yeah. whatever reason. Oh, it's tough to shoot. Yeah. So if he's down, I'm I'm picking it up. I can't drop the ball and say, babe, I'm tired. No, it's, all right, we're going to go and get food for the girls. What you eating? Okay, you go to the room. So it's just been one of those times. So sometimes you have have to have somebody with you that can um, uplift you in those moments. And that's where we always say, if you need us, if you don't have anyone in your corner, you can either, you know, drop us the line in the chat. You can mm -hmm. uh, DM us on Instagram. Um, or if I'll, you're a student, you can. Have, oh yeah. Or if you, or if you're one of my students and you're listening, even if you're one of my students' parents and you're listening to this, um, you guys know how to reach out to me and you listen to it. Uh, I have I have a couple of students wow. who they said their parents have listened Thank to. You for the yeah. Love. He's so funny. But um and shout out to my students, y'all. Y'all uh, are working. Yeah. Y'all are working so hard. And this like it's not just adults that are going through this. Hold on. Good. It's not just adults that are going through this, like how to overcome and not, you know, be tripping, tripping. The students are like, or I, I'm, I'm not going to call it. The kids are also going through that same thing with 
how COVID is and, you know, everybody's not good with the virtual learning. The kids aren't used to not being able to like really interact. So this is also a time where we have to be role models and we have to help them to think positive so that, you know, their end is a reward from how they start in the beginning. Yeah. So. So we're glad to, you know, help y'all. If you, like said, if you, if you all need help, um, give us a reach call. Out to us. No. <laughs> <laughs> give us a call. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. You can get in touch John with us. Dialing 894 but Hills. Let's conclude this podcast. Does it really? Yes, it does. One, thank you for watching and listening. And listening. Uh, <laughs> so as we always say. Keep God first. And the rest will be at it. See how we started with a great conclusion and ended with a good one. We out. Peace out. Bye. Bye.